The women's basketball star Brittany Griner was detained in February at a Moscow airport after Russian authorities found what they say was hash oil in her luggage. Griner plays off-season ball in Russia when she's not playing for the Phoenix Mercury. Griner hadn't been seen publicly in the weeks since her arrest. That was until this new video of the athlete went viral over the weekend. According to CNN, Griner has seen her Russian legal team several times throughout her detention. On January 23rd, the U.S. issued a travel advisory to the region as a result of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. And so, uh, you know, it, it's this is an interesting situation because, okay, let's, let's, let's assume for the sake of argument that she had hash oil. Sure. As far as I'm concerned, nothing wrong with that. Right. Just hash oil. It's the same, right. although the U.S. government, uh, I, don't know, I don't, don't know if hash oil... I, I, I literally don't know what level of, uh, of controlled substance. I, I actually it, think it that's. I think it's schedule. I think it's schedule one because they lump it in with cannabis. Yeah. yeah. Um, even though, I mean, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's schedule one. We can. But my point I'll, being, I'll isn't a little that. hypocritical for the U.S. to be U.S. people to be all yes. upset about her being treated this way when we routinely treat people yeah. her, as criminals? They they are criminals technically right. for for consuming uh, recreationally. Uh, drugs that how, are not how, right, how are dare, not dangerous. How dare they enforce draconian drug laws? Right, it's ridiculous. <laughs> right. And they should. And to be clear, they shouldn't. Russia shouldn't right. either. Neither should we. But we have no moral leg to stand on here whatsoever. No. We have how many people sitting in U.S. prisons right now for marijuana crimes? That I happens. mean, we thousands, it, many, more? many thousands. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even more than that, and and many, many more than that who have served time right. because of marijuana crime. So it is illegal. Marijuana is illegal in Russia. We can. T I, I don't think marijuana should be illegal anywhere. I know both of you probably agree with that exact uh, sentiment as well. But in Russia, it is illegal. So if she was caught with drugs, look, you should never bring drugs into a foreign country. <laughs> I don't know why. You know that. This you is can get them when one. you get there, right? Don't don't right, take yeah. them on the plane. <laughs> don't uh, yeah. Just don't don't do have them it. in your suitcase. That's yeah. how you, that's I mean, how you end up spending like the rest of your life in a Colombian prison or something. <laughs> exactly. What was that movie, Ryan? You probably remember Mid when Midnight, we were Midnight Cowboy, right? No, it was there was that movie and it was in Thailand. It was Claire Danes. Do you remember that movie? And it was mm. like so big when we were younger. Yeah. And she got caught in with drugs in Thailand. She was like. Uh, you know, turned into a mule without her really realizing mm -hmm. it from some drug trafficker. Anyway, she ended up like with life in prison in Thailand and all. And, and in Asia, by the way, the drug laws are much more strict. Do not bring yeah. drugs by, for example, into the yeah, Philippines. Yeah. You could potentially yes. lose your life. So, yeah. you know, so there are worse places where you could go with drugs, where you would have a much harsher sentence than just being detained. But even the United States is not one. Of, here you would get right. detained in certain areas. Like you go to my home state of Idaho, you're going to get arrested if you bring drugs in. So, um, yeah. I, so but yeah. I, lo I looked okay. it up. Hash, it, hash and hash oil are Schedule One, which is the highest uh, here in the United States. But you know, the, her fa her family and her friends actually they want this to be talked about as a typical drug case. They don't want her case to become. Uh, so, something sensational as if she's been oh, kind right. of ki kidnapped and detained because then if you become a political pawn, then you could wind up, th then you're just at the whim of, the, of geopolitics. And, right. they, and they don't want that. What they, what they want is, okay, let's, let's deal with this through the legal system and let's get her out as, as quickly as possible so, and get her out in a way that doesn't require kind of Putin or somebody to lose face and be like, quote, quote unquote, releasing a hostage. They don't want her right. to be thought of. As yeah, it could be hostage. it could be worse, much much worse, right. and that's kind of you know Senator Tim Kaine sort of alluded to this, where he said that mm -hmm. uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin plans to use her as a negotiating chip, and this was in an interview with Greta Van Struis, and Kaine said Kaine said quote There's no doubt that her detention and this continuation of the imprisonment is all to try and make her a hostage and part of this chess game. To your point, Ryan, that's not really the best for her to be put right. in this position. That right. can be pretty bad. And the media, the media, when it comes to all kidnappings, ha has a culture uh, that is built into it that usually re abides by the requests of the, of the families of those who've been kidnapped. And so that's how you'll have a case where, say, a New York Times journalist will be kidnapped for two years and it, and it right. never becomes public right. because they be there, is, there is a belief that you know, working these out quietly between the 
the countries is, is an easier way to get it out. And so the family is kind of you, is relying on a version of that conventional wisdom here. And, and hopefully for Griner's sake, that works out. But you, the media is pressured just to turn it into a... It's funny because the media yeah, is being pressured. The media is being pressured by a, a social movement that is clearly not in contact with her family or, right. or ca a a hasn't explored it and just wants to use her as a way to dunk on people and say, oh, why, you know, why right. don't you care about this woman who has been in prison in, in, right. in Russia? It's like, well, no, it's no, like no, that we red... actually care more, and, and we're not... It's like the red line you mentioned before. Oh, is it red line if, if Russia's if... holding any of our people? Because, aha, we're already yeah. over it. World yeah. War Three. here we go, yeah. baby. Yeah. That's well, Article and I, five. I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to look this up to see who else had potentially been convicted of this. Like, is she really truly being a, polit a political prisoner, or is this something, you know, or is drugs just illegal in Moscow? And it turns out that there was an Israeli woman who went into in 2019, and she was actually uh, sentenced to six, seven years in prison for having drugs on her when she went into Russia. There was also a New York-based film. St By the way, though, uh, Putin did pardon her ahead of his trip to Israel in 2020. So even though she was sentenced and everything, you know, he goes there and he says, OK, we'll let her out. Um, and then there was also a New York film based student who was charged with drug possession in St. Petersburg in September of 2019. Not sure. How, oh, that person received uh, like a month or so in, in, in and plus has to pay a big fine. So uh, I think much smaller amounts for the New York student versus the Israeli who went into Moscow. But, you know, this is something they do. This isn't just, oh, let's just trap the American and get her for no. drug charges. Right. It's certainly possible that they searched her because she, she was an American at this key, uh, you know, well-known American right. in this key moment. Right. And, you know, also possible they planted something like that. They could have done that. That can't that be happens. ruled out. Like co cops in the U.S. do that all Absolutely. the time. Yes. To, right. to, to fix our hypocrisy here, President Biden should immediately issue a blanket pardon to mm -hmm. anyone who is currently in prison Pers on a marijuana charge, mm -hmm. release all of them, all of them. And that we had to yes. stick it to Russia. There you go. That's, uh, yes, that's the way. Great own, idea. Own Putin that way. Yeah. Own, Great own, idea. own Putin. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what should happen. All right. Well, tomorrow on Rising, we'll continue, of course, to follow the latest Russia Ukraine news. Plus, Rachel Bovard and Jennifer Holtworth Carp join us for our Rising panel. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a video. And if you're more of a podcast fan, we're now available wherever you listen to podcasts. So be sure, sure. to do that. See you soon. Bye. -bye.